The next thing I want to talk to you about is your everyday fears and doubts. Everyone has little fears or big fears, and they can come up unexpectedly. You might, you know, suddenly have uh, a bill come up, the air conditioner broke, the furnace broke, whatever it is, and you think, oh, I just, I just emptied out my account to pay the rent or the house payment. I don't know where I'm going to get that money. Instead, announce to yourself, I wonder how that's going to get paid. You see the difference? What happened? And because the universe wouldn't have this occur at this time unless there was a resource to cover it. So you're demanding to the universe, look, look, I've got this issue. I expect an answer. But you don't say it that way. You simply say, I wonder how this is going to get paid because I know the universe wouldn't send me a bill for something I couldn't pay. That sets the stage to allow that resource to come in. Now, because every one of us have everyday fears, what happened with one of my clients is she carried huge amounts of fear. She was in a difficult situation with work and with employment. She had a fairly new baby. And one day she was at the uh, like 7-Eleven or one of those stores, a convenience store, picking up diapers and her ATM card declined. Can you imagine how embarrassing that would be? You're not just buying candy or ice cream, diapers, it's like super important. And her ATM failed. That was one of the lowest points she had. So when I connected with her shortly thereafter and she tells me this story, I, my heart just goes out to her. So I, I said to her, well, you know, could you think of some positive thoughts? She couldn't. She couldn't even think of one thing that was good in her life. So I said, okay, then let's start with everything you're sad about, everything you're afraid of. And we made a list and it was over 30 things. And the next day, I had a few more things from her. So this list grew a little bit. And after the first day, what happens is you've cleared off what's on the surface. And if there's any hidden or underlying fears, then what happens is they come to the surface because the stuff that was in the front is now on a piece of paper and not in your head. So we have this list of maybe 35 things. And then what I did is I showed her how to write antidotes to those things. So, for example, the issue of her not having enough money in her ATM card. Instead, after she wrote, you know, I'm worried that I won't have enough money to take care of my baby. Instead, after that, we would write something that would match that. So the, the matching statement that would be the antidote would be, I always have plenty of money in my bank account to cover all of my regular needs and then some. That became a statement in a series of statements that she would say every day. And I recorded it for her and I've recorded it for you. It's called Make Your Day a Good One. And essentially, it has many statements like this that would be antidotes for your typical fears. Now, we don't name the fears in the meditation. We simply say things like, I am a woman of substance. What I do in the world matters. She was afraid she would be old. She, would be, she was afraid that she would run out of ideas. At one point I said to her, well, have you run out of ideas before? And she said, no. And I said, and have, have people taken your ideas? Yeah. And do you still come up with more ideas? Yeah. So this is where I want to encourage you to go out and find the movie, it might be on Netflix, I'm not sure, called Joy, J-O-Y. It's the woman's name, Joy, but it's also like the phrase, Joy. And watch this movie and be inspired. Be the best you can be just from watching this movie. 